tea, baby. How, how, how's it going for you so far? Is it good? Is it great? How did you bring it this year? Let me know in the comments down below. I want to know. Okay? But it's 2017, right? New year, new things going on. And let me tell you, there's some things that we left in 2016. I promise you we left it because we're not bringing it back. No. We're not bringing it back. We left it there. It's in the past. We're going to leave it there. Okay? But before I tell you what we're leaving, because we're leaving it, before I tell you what we left, before I tell you what we left there, subscribe so you can see my face. And like this video so that I know that you like it. I mean, that's why it happened, right? You like it so you can tell the person who made it that you like it. Yeah. Now let's get this video to 20 likes. 20 likes is not a lot. Like I always say, it's only one more than 19. Like this video. Thank you. Now this video, this video is a collab. A collab with my girl Shay. My girl Shay, right? From Troy Shay Life. Mm-hmm. We're doing this collab. So she got some things that we left in 2016 too. Cause we, we, like I said, we leaving it. We not bringing it back. No, no. It's there and it's gonna stay there. So this year is gonna be a good year because we left those things behind. Don't mind me. I wrote it down in my notebook and I'll try my best not to look down, look down, look down and just look at you guys. But you know, nobody's perfect. 16 things we left in 2016. Number one, we leaving the grown behind little boys in 2016. I'll be 23 this year and I promise you, I'm not dealing with no grown behind little boys. Not doing it. We leaving you in 2016. Okay? We not doing the grown behind little boys because Kanisha don't got time for the grown behind little boys. Why are you 23 acting like you 15? No thank you. No, thank you. None at all. No thanks. Stay where you was at in 2016. Stay there. Irrelevant comments. No shade to those who comment on my videos. I love your comments. But if I'm sad, boo hoo hoo. Great video. I'm gonna let you know. Did you even watch my video? Did you watch it? No? Because it wasn't a great video. It might have been good quality, good editing, all that stuff. But say something else. I'm sitting here boo hoo and you a great video. What was great about it? Be specific. I would appreciate it. <laughs> okay, don't, whatever term we come up with in 2017, don't misuse it. Remember that year everything was on fleek? Don't misuse it. And in 2016, everything was lit, lit, lit. Oh, it's lit. Listen, I'm lit, but listen. We leaving that in 2016. Not necessarily the word. The fact that you misuse the word. We're not. We're not misusing whatever word we come up this year. Usually around summertime. Summertime is like when we find our words. We're not gonna misuse it this year. We're not doing it. Okay. Number four. Asking already answered questions. If I answer something, don't ask me. Cause I answered it. And this is coming from me working in retail, right? I worked in retail for 18 months. The sign says $199. Don't pick up the shirt and come to me and ask me how much the shirt is if the sign says $199. Don't ask me. Cause I'm gonna tell you it's $199 because you can't read. Don't come up to me and ask me what is right in front of your face. Don't do it. I understand there might be a little bit miscon misconception, a little confusion, but all the time, all the time. How much is this? It's it's hundred dollars, ma'am. It's hundred dollars. Okay, but not just with retail, with anything. Just don't annoy me with the questions that I answered. Like the sky. What color is the sky? Oh, it's red today. Isn't it? Isn't it pretty? It, it's red today. Number five. Stop putting on a show for Instagram, okay? We're not doing that this year. You're not gonna put these freaky dicky pictures when you're a little sitting in a church boy. You're not this freaky dicky person, so we're not putting freaky dicky pictures on your Instagram to put a show for your followers because you know what your followers like. We're not, mm, no. Do not put a show on Instagram to confuse me. I'm thinking, oh, this is how you are, but then I meet you and I'm like, oh, mm, okay. No show for 
on Instagram. Be who you are. Be you simple. Be you, okay? We not putting on a show for Instagram. We not doing that. No. Not this year, we not. Mm. Self-neglect and self-doubt. We can't do that this year. We got so much going on this year. So much going on this year, we can't do that. No, do not neglect yourself. We can't do it, no. Put yourself first, because I'm the type of person that always puts people first. I'm always second place, always last, you know? Oh, you okay, you need this hug? You need me to do this? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I can do this for you. I can, yeah. But what happens at night when I'm bored and, you know, just like, wait, when did I gain these pounds? When did this weight come on? When did I get these bumps? When, oh, maybe I was stressing because of somebody else's problems, right? Mm -mm. No more self-neglect. Put you first. Put I'm going to put me first. Put you first. We done with this self-neglect stuff. We done with it. That was 2016. Also with self-doubt. Don't doubt yourself. You know you are capable of great things. Be great. That's it. If you know you are capable of great things, just be great. It's really not that hard. Don't doubt what you can do. <laughs> Number seven, your roller coaster type of people. Those are the ones that we don't want to call bipolar, but we're going to call them roller coaster type of people. One day, they have you all happy, floating on cloud nine, so in love, so great. Oh, uh, perfect. The next day, what happened? Wait, what? What? What's going on? Why, why are we acting like this? But yesterday, I was up here and today I was, we, listen, I'm tired of the up, down, up, down. Listen, consistency is key and roller coasters are not consistent. And I don't got time for it this year. No, thank you. Fear of rejection. Rejection is something we all gonna go through. You will be rejected. R-E-J-E-C-T-E-Z. -E -E rejected. We're going to be rejected. It's just, you know, what we're going to do. But don't be afraid of it because it comes to the best of us. And, and the more we get rejected, the more we strive for greatness. So don't be afraid of being rejected. Gotta go. The dad, I, I, I probably didn't even do it right because I don't dance. I'm not into all that. But the dad gotta go, okay? I'm tired of talking to somebody and they dabbing. Dab, 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 dab. No, dab, we left you. You are not welcome here. Stay over there because you're not, you not, you're not welcome here. Nope. Bad vibes and negativity. We don't want it. But that's a given because we've done that every year. Get rid of the negativity. Get rid of the fake friends. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Just get rid of it, right? I might be saying the same thing in 2018. I might be saying the same thing, but right now I'm telling you, we left the bad vibes in 2016. We left 2016's bad vibes in 2016. We can't. No, we don't know what's going on tomorrow. So if we get 2017 bad vibes, okay, okay. We'll deal with it when time comes. But 2016 bad vibes will stay in 2016. We're not bringing it here this year in 2017. We're not doing it. No. Now see, I am not like a celebrity fanatic. I'm like, oh my God, what's the celebrity doing? The celebrity this, the celebrity that. But let me tell you who got to stay in 2016 with their attitude. Kanye West. Because, listen, I'm not feeling him. Ever since that whole Taylor Swift fiasco. No, Taylor. I leave him. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Years ago, I'm like, you rude. You rude and you don't get whatever you coming. Whatever you got coming to you is what's coming to you because you rude. Stay there. I don't want to hear you in my news feed in 2017. Don't. Netflix and chill. Listen, Netflix ain't what it used to be no more. You can't just watch a movie with a friend anymore. They just want you to... Netflix and chill. If I gotta say, I'm all watching that house with my friend, they'd be like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, you know, the, the one with the movies, I'm just sitting here watching it. Oh, that's all, that's all you, yes. Netflix and chill guys to go, okay? Can I watch my Netflix in peace? May I? Pretty please? Pretty, pretty, pretty please? Thank you. Bad food habits. 
I'm not making a New Year resolution. Oh, I'm gonna lose this weight. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna eat healthy. Whatever. No. I'm gonna just say the bad habits gotta stay. The bad eating habits. That's the goal. Try your best to do better. Kenesha, when you rewatch this video, look at yourself and tell, I'm telling you. Me? I'm telling you. Listen, viewers, audience, give me a minute. I'm talking to myself right now. Kenesha, stop with the bad habits, okay? Treat us right. Eat right. Okay? Good job. Okay, back to you guys. Overfilling your eyebrows and lips, okay? We need to understand. I'll tell you right now, everything not for everyone. And me being in the profession that I am, you realize everything is not for everyone and you can't be mad. You get what you get and that is it. Why are you overfilling your lips and we don't see the line? We see it. Just because I have beautiful lips, I mean, you got to have big luscious lips too. Be happy with the lips you got. Why are you overfilling your lips? You look ridiculous. 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 It's how you look it. Now see, I got little little eyebrows here and I, I fill in my eyebrows, but overfilling? What I gotta do with the big, big, chunky, chunky um tarantulas on my face? I don't need those. Why do you need those? Stop doing it. So we're not gonna do it no more this year. We're not, okay? We're not doing it no more. We not doing it. No. No more. Number 15, excuses, because excuses are monuments of nothingness. Those are tools of the incompetence, and those who use it seldom become anything, if nothing at all, okay? Simply put, we are not going with the excuses. No more excuses. Take your excuses and leave them where they were left in 2016, because we're not doing it. No. We're not, we're not, mm -hmm. I can't do it. I don't want a relationship because I don't have my own money. Did I ask you to buy me anything? I don't want a relationship because I need to get myself together. I'm supposed to build together. No, 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 no together. No building together. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't come over because I'm watching TV. Oh, I can't be great because I'm lazy. Oh. I can't be a great person because he was mean to me. Oh. We're, we're done with excuses, okay? We're done with the excuses. We're leaving the excuses where the excuses belong. And that's back in 2016 because this is 2017 and we don't do excuses. No, okay. Number 16, and this one is for me. Me too, because I know this is me. But we leaving it in 2016 because, because, because what we have coming up in the next few days, we got to leave this in 2016 because we can't do it. And what we're leaving in 2016 is political ignorance. Political ignorance. You know your rights, you know what is given to you, understand it know who to contact, know how to remain safe, know your rights, because that political ignorance stuff that we have, we got this, this, this man becoming president in a few days, okay? We, got, we can't. This political ignorance got to go, and that's for me too, because I hate politics. It is too much going on, and he say, she say, this law, this law, it's too much. But we leave the political ignorance behind because we got something coming to us. We got another thing coming. We got another thing coming. So you can't be ignorant. Can't be ignorant. Can't be ignorant. Leave that ignorant stuff behind in 2016 because we got this president coming and we don't know what's going to happen. So don't be politically ignorant. That's for me too, okay? Like I said, we all not perfect. We're not. So I need to leave. Those are my 16 things that we left in 2016. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, I'm hyped because it's the new year. Got some new things coming. I'm just so hype, right? Those are the 16 things we left in 2016. So don't forget to check Shay's channel at Troy Shay Life. Her description is in the cards that I think I figured out are right here. Or, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with right here for right now. If they're not here, I'm gonna flip the video just so it can be right here. Her video's in the cards, it's in the description. Click it on it, click on it, and go watch her video. Tell her best photographics and all her love. So her 16 things that she decides we leave in 2016. I hope you guys have a wonderful and prosperous year. You guys are awesome in my prayers. But despite the things we left in 2016, you know, despite all those things that we left in 2016, and despite all the great things we're gonna bring and receive in 2017, do me the favor. Do me the favor I've been asking you, because this part is not staying in 2016. We're bringing this with us. Stay pretty, stay beautiful, stay loyal, stay lovely. Just stay being you and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful New Year's and the rest of your wonderful and lovely day. Bye. Hey my pretty people, how you doing? You're good? Great. This is just a regular talk to video. It's my positivity challenge number two. 